Welcome to the True Bullet Shooting Simulator. Uh, it's an asset that will be available on the asset store soon. And I will show a little bit about what it does and what you can use it for. So if you start this game, which is more or less a complete project, you will have a bunch of uh, targets moving around in the scene. <clears throat> and in the middle I have put a shooting or a gun script on the main camera. And if we go to the game scene, <coughs> we can shoot at the boxes and zoom in and shoot all kinds of stuff. And we will get some points in the game and we have some time to collect points and if you miss you get minus points and so forth and um, the points are distributed at uh, if you shoot at long distance you get more points and short distance give less points and mm, that's fairly basic it's just uh, something to shoot at the thing with this asset is the gun that is a gun simulator which has, has uh, quite a few nice features that I will show you. The game is just something I throw in to, to make it more fun. <clears throat> the real asset is the is not the game, it's the it's the gun. So the gun and that is a drag and drop script that you can drop onto any transform and make it a gun. Uh, it has some advanced uh, mathematics in it that simulates and solves the differential equation of the ballistic flight and it will also report the values the data of the of the shot so for example if i shoot at uh, you also see that if i miss i have a blue indicator where i hit without really hitting the, the target and if i hit i will have a bullet mark and this is now pink but you can put any text you want on there and uh, let's try to hit this on miss and miss and miss yeah i hit that one you can see the bullet mark uh, so what happened then was that the uh, asset recorded or computed a lot of data about the shot and it's visible here in the gui distance to hit was 57 meters bullet hit velocity was 364 meters per second this is an se units all of it and uh, the bullet started out at 400 and this computes the air resistance that has the velocity uh, to decrease during the flight so at 50 meters it's down to 364 meters per second and these calculations are quite cool are quite correct and you can set the out here into the right uh, you can set the uh, air rag resistance coefficient the diameter of the bullet and the bullet mass the bullet speed um, you have the up aim which is the um, the aim you can set the aim to aim slightly upward because you have bullet drops so that can be accurate to a certain distance you can set the textures of the bullet mark the gun sound and you also have at the bottom of the scene an arrow pointer that indicates the wind direction and also we have the latitude which is necessary because this gun calculates the Coriolis drift and the Coriolis drift depends on where you are on the world in the latitude and we have a Hollywood factor because this gun automatically adds force to the rigid body it hits and you can multiply the force with this factor because it does apply the and uh, the the the, the um, impulse from the actual bullet with the data supplied above but if you want it to look cooler you can put a hollywood factor on the impact the bullet makes you can set the bullet lifetime and you can have fire cycle time which is if you have the automatic gun 
it's how fast the automatic gun repeats. You can choose to not have gravity drop. You can have auto reload or not auto reload. Now you have to reload to make it shoot again. Bullet trace. You can see in this scene, in the, in the scene scene, that the um, you have a small indicator where the gun is, the bullet is going. What more? What more? Uh, yes, I was about the the GUI here. Uh, I was up to the left there. Distance to hit was now. 1100 meters, I had only 82 meters per second left. Time of flight was okay. I will make this. It was 7.5 seconds. I will make another hit now on another target. That one. So now 100 meters, 347 meters per second. Time of flight is 0.26. Total lead 1.28 meters. That's how much I must lead the target to hit it. So the move, the target moved 1.28 meters from the time I pushed the trigger to the bullet hit the target. Bullet hit the transform cube 100. Bullet cube 100. Total bullet drop was five centimeters. This gun is now set to be at zero bullet drop at 89 meters the bullet drop is calculated from the the aiming line um, so since i have set the sights with a slight up aim it will go up above the sighting line a few centimeters and then drop below again after 89 meters so this has dropped five centimeters the bullet drop from Coriolis is only, what's that, two tenths of a millimeter. In short distances, Coriolis is not very essential. And also I have two millimeters of Coriolis drift to the right at 100 meters. Not very much, but at long distances, Coriolis can be significant. And I had a wind drift right at 0.37 meters. Uh, so if I shoot at this stationary target, you can see the bullet trajectory and you can see it moves to the right. You can also see that it passes through the miss indicators, the blue miss indicators. So that one had bullet uh, or had target a uh, wind drift to the right. And if I shoot in the other direction, Mm. Here I will have wind drift to the left, uh, and you see this now hits in the right uh, elevation. The bullet drop is very low because I have set the size to be accurate at this distance. But if I shoot upwards, as you who are familiar with guns know that the I will hit too high here because. There is no bullet drop uh, as shown there and also have a slight wind drift to the left as the arrow is showing mm. yeah and also have some other scripts that i have included this is the gun script and the gun script adds bullets to the gun and uh, you can set the number of bullets you have in the clip and the bullets are pulled so that when you shoot, okay, I must do like this. The bullets are freed and move away, and when they land, so when they are repulled like that. Um, the simple mouse look script you can drop on any camera to have it move around with the mouse look, and it also works to. Uh, with the WASD keys and you can move around if you do lock, not lock elevation you can you can fly with it or you can choose to lock the elevation and have it at a certain height the crosshair you can drop on any camera to have crosshairs in the middle of the screen. The GUI is what I showed up to the left where it reports the data 
of the uh, of the gun. So I think that was a basic introduction of what this does. I will make uh, another video, I think, where I show how to set this up and stuff. But this, I think, this can be it now for the introduction of this asset. Thank you for watching.